welcome to the Coffee with Column and thank you for joining me. And uh, this is a very special episode of Coffee with Column. I'm here with Caroline Rigney of Rigney's Farm in County Limerick and uh, she's here. We're going to talk about all things pendulum. But let me just first welcome Caroline. Caroline, you're very welcome to uh, Coffee with Column. Thanks, Colin. Thanks for having me. Thanks for taking time out. Uh, I mean, yeah. You're busy, busy schedule. Day. Busy, busy day, yeah. yeah. She, just, she just said to me, she said, uh, I'm in my working clothes, but I'm a farmer, so it is what it is, and you're dead right. Tell me, um, before we get into the, the, we're going to talk about all things pendulum, as you know, but before we get into that, Caroline, just let, let people know who you are, where you're based, and where they can find you. What's yeah. your business, please? So I'm, Car- I'm Caroline Rigney, I'm owner and, and worker at Rigney's Farm in Currachase in West Limerick. Uh, we have a farmhouse, we call it an experiential farmhouse bed and breakfast. We provide the breakfast for the guests um, from our own free range pork, rasher sausages, black and white puddings, and also granola that we now have gone out into the shops. And it's really special granola. And um, we supply some restaurants. I actually, I'm shipping today up beside the pendulum. I'm shipping pork, uh, in the next hour to uh, Salesforce Tower. Very nice. So, Very yeah. Nice. So they're occasional customers of mine. So, That's wonderful. Yeah. wonderful. And of course, yeah. lots of retail, well lots of retail outlets around County Limerick from my own. There is a good bit. Yeah, there's a good bit. And I mean, my main, my main gig, and I really enjoy it, is Killaloo Market every Sunday. That's uh, it's a good market, but it's a very social market. So I, I enjoy the banter with yeah, people, yeah. you know, and, People are always glad to see us, you know, especially if we've been away for a couple of weeks. They're always, oh, geez, where were you? You know, so. Yeah, I'm the yeah, same. I'm a regular attendee at the Killaloo Farmer's Market. Yeah. And, uh, you can't yeah. ask Caroline's, uh, Caroline and Joe's uh, stand without without buying something delicious. So I'll, I'll put up a picture later. Uh, listen, great to have you here. And uh, thanks indeed for, for coming on and having coffee with Colm. I want to talk about Pendulum so much. You, you graced us with your presence there in January. And you came along to the convention center. Uh, did you enjoy your experience? Every minute of it. Every minute of it. I've wanted to go to the pendulum since uh, Deepak Chopra was there. And that's a good few years ago. And every year I'd say, I must do it. And then sure, the next I'd heard it was over. So when you asked me to join the group, uh, I was delighted. And I said, go on, this is the only way I'm ever going to do it if I commit to it. And uh, someone will make me do it. So, yeah, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's lovely to hear. Yeah, it's one of those things that we can slip through the radar uh, if we're not. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. We're, we're all busy people, but it was a real pleasure having you there. Yeah. And I think if I'm, memory serves me right, you travelled up early on the first morning to two-day oh. event. Mm. Found that a bit tough, did you? Oh, I did. Uh, next time I'm staying over the night before. Yeah, Definitely. I was exhausted by one o'clock. <laughs> so, yeah. But despite yeah. that, despite that, you enjoyed it. Anyway, it was great. I really did. I really did, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I was amazed at how they cope with so many people and with ease. That there was yeah. so many people and there was no queuing. Yeah, there you go. Like, it's just well, amazing. That's that's the specialty of the convention centre. They do a fantastic yeah. job. And uh, Pendulum is ten years old now, and uh, for many of those years, most of those years, it was in the convention centre. Obviously, um, uh, COVID ex- accepting, and I've I've been to seven or eight of them at this stage, and I absolutely love it. So I was going anyway. It was a real pleasure having you here, and of course, I, I bumped into Caroline at the Killaloo Market, and I sort of said, you know, do you fancy coming along to this thing? And she said, yeah, great. So uh, it's been great. But there were twenty of us there. So Caroline, uh, did you have a standout speaker from the two days? Oh. Do you know, I was amazed at the MC. She was brilliant. She just gave great energy to the whole thing. But I loved all of them. I really did. I suppose the only one that I wouldn't have been that bothered about was the racing driver. <laughs> you know, that was just, that went over my head entirely. But he was a good speaker, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, all that went over my head. What well, wasn't your thing? Wasn't your thing? Not my thing at all at all. No, no, no. But uh, all of the rest of them, I took something from all of them. You're scribbling to beat the band. I know that. Say that again, what? You were scribbling notes to beat the band. I was. I took down some notes from some of them and um, I read over them and I thought they were nice. And and some of them then I regretted not taking more notes for, but you know, but you live and learn. You live and learn indeed, absolutely, yeah. And was there any one particular, apart from the the, the host, by the way, she was fantastic, uh, this lady, she is a former RAF fighter pilot. Yeah. Uh, she, very she powerful. Had she had a great energy. You know, she gave a great buzz to it, I suppose. Um, 
who would be my favorite. I like John Lonergan, but I liked him anyway. I like Brezzy. Um, I like them. All. I like them all. Honestly, I like them all. One one was better than the next. That's the way it seemed to be. You know, if I if I thought I had that would stand out, then the next one was equally as good, if not better. That's what we love to hear. It is a mixed bag for sure. Um, it is, yeah. It, it, it's interesting and important. I think that you you're able to say that you know, well, the, the racing driver didn't do it for me, um, and then you know, a sports person mightn't do it for somebody else, and a Brezzy mm-hmm. might do it for somebody else. That's what I love about Pendulum. It's such a wide range of uh, of speakers sharing their life experience. Actually, you met Brezzy before, didn't you, down here in Killaloo? I did. I did. I met Brezzy in Killaloo that time when he when he surfed down the the Shannon, um, but he, he was quite exhausted uh, that evening. He had just got in. Yeah, no, he's nice, and I'm from I'm from Westmead, where he's from originally. I see. So, uh, I I feel that little bit of a connection there. You're and I should have I should have spoke to him, but he had loads of people around him at the pendulum. I I left him be because he was inundated with people. Yeah, but I should have said hello to him. Yeah, but look, there's 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 always next time, and uh, of course, my wife shares the same lineage, all, all from uh, the Westmead. That's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. uh, and, and she she likewise says she's got a special affinity uh, with Brezzy because of that. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I I found his talk fantastic. I really did. You know, he yeah, spoke- I did. It was it was he it, that his talk was was everybody's. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the formative years can be tough for everyone, and um, that's exactly what he said. You know, he's taken he's lifted the shame off it maybe and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, he's using his celebrity in a very positive way, I think. He is, uh, he is yeah. definitely, yeah. But, yeah. You know, for a guy, uh, do you say he's six foot five, he's stunningly handsome man. Uh, he is. You know, he's got loads going on, and yet this incredible specimen of a man uh, admitted to being completely weak as a kitten in those Yeah, yeah just, just goes to show you. You never, never know. Ju- never judge the book by its cover. No, never. And the fact that he's willing to step out and yeah. be that vulnerable, I think, Caroline, you'd agree, uh, allows others to be open mm. with not being okay. Follow, follow suit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would agree with that. I was talking mm. to some people during the week, Caroline, and um, it came up about something else. And uh, a phrase that came into the conversation was, we're all of us recovering from childhood for, for in, in whatever way. Some were born rich and they're recovering from that. Some were born poor and they're recovering from that. Mm. Warren Buffett calls it the ovarian lottery. And we're just... <laughs> it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And we're thrown into it. We're thrown onto planet Earth in some set of circumstances yeah. entirely beyond our control. And all we can do is navigate our way through that, come out the fire end and be the yeah. best. And do, our, and do our best, you know. All we can do. Yeah, and... I suppose maybe I suppose forgiveness is the best thing you can do because our all of our parents they've done the best they could with, with the tools they had. Well said. Absolutely. You know, that, that's just the way I think it is, because you can carry a chip on your shoulder for the rest of your life over something that nobody else knows you're even carrying. Yeah. So just analyze it and forgive it and move on as best you can. That's a lovely that's a lovely phrase. Joe is having a look in at you here. Hey Joe. You popping in, say hello, Joe. Call him O'Brien. Kick the head down there. How you call him? He's in the working clothes too, so he is call him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Actually, there's a question. What what were the two you doing before we started the call? What was what was the last job on the farm? I was getting my parcel ready to send to Salesforce. Prior to that, I was cutting briars. <laughs> and Joe was fixing fences because a pig broke out and caused oh. carnage this morning. Oh. So. so it's it's a real working farm, folks. You need to check oh, it out. Never ending, never ending. Oh, yes. What, what's what's the email address? Uh, sorry, not the email address. What's the uh, web address? Rig- uh, www. dot com. Okay, check that yeah. out. And we will be having a vagabonds regathering down here in Killaloo sometime. We're maybe aiming for the May Bank holiday weekend, and we'll be having brunch at Caroline and Jones. Lovely. Looking and, forward to it. And then on, to it. On, the, on the lake. Uh, come here. Um, real pleasure, as I say, having you attend Pendulum. Delighted that you chose us to mm. join for your first uh, outing. Uh, do you think you'd come back sometime if we're going back next year? Definitely. I'm going back next year. Definitely. I want to hear Deepak Chopra, finally. <laughs> I believe he's there next year, so I'm definitely. Wow. Well, I'm terribly sorry, that caught me off guard. Um, wow, you know more than I do. I, I didn't hear that yet. but I'll take... I saw that. I saw that on a pull-up banner in the... Um, in the, 
the place in the in, uh, in the convention yeah. center. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, so, we'll, we'll check that out and confirm or otherwise. But, uh, yeah. but regardless of who's there, regardless of who's there, I think it's a wonderful place to be. And I think you did. It good. is. Yeah. yeah. No, I really enjoyed it, and I absolutely took something of all the speakers, really, except for the and you know what he was interested enough to listen to. But um, oh yeah, Rich has reminded me Harry Redknapp. He was very funny. I really enjoyed him, and he was a sports guy. You know, yeah, yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed him. No. Yeah, he was he was a guy that uh, I think caught many people, including myself, off guard because I was sort of I had you know I'm not into soccer. I, I saw him as a soccer manager, but he was a real human himself. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It was just beautiful yeah. human beings, you know. So uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, and his story was funny and witty and everything. It was lovely. It was really nice. He uh, he can hold his company anywhere, can't he? Really, he knows. Can, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, Bye. yeah. So there you go. You wouldn't want to judge him. Like I would have switched him off, and I said, "Oh no, not soccer again." But no, he was lovely. He was really nice. There you go. As you say, as you said earlier about Brezzy, let's stop judging books by covers. There you go. There you go. That's it again, isn't it? We all do it, though. Well, we all do it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I loved what you said earlier about you know forgiveness and you know getting over uh, those early years because you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. all of our parents did the very best they could with what they That's had. That's all they could do. That's all they could do. Yeah. All yeah, they could yeah. Do is take those lessons. And now it's funny. Once you can forgive it, you can look back on things that were said and done and see the lighter side of it. You know. Yeah, I agree. That's, I agree. that's just the way it is. You have to move on and, and love them for what they are. Absolutely. And and then love our own children and in turn our okay. children and all the rest of us. We, we talk about it being 100 year work and we, we take the baton from our parents and our job is to pass it on in good stead to the that's next it. generation. As best we can, yeah. yeah, yeah, can. yeah definitely. We're a real pleasure knowing you. A real pleasure, folks, having uh, nice. both at, uh, at Caroline and Joe's on a Sunday at Killaloo Farmers Market. You have to check that out for sure. Check out rigneysfarm.com. Come along to Pendulum next week. Meet Caroline and others that will be there as part of the Vagabond group. And uh, in the meantime, stay well. And Caroline, before we finish, last word to you. Mm -hmm. um, great to be part of your group, Colm. It's great to be dealing with the public. It's great to be at Killaloo Farmers Market, bringing a product from the farm to people to enjoy there and then. Um, yeah, I love it. It's great. Life is good. I love that. I was waiting for you to finish with life is good. And you yeah. did. So thanks for that, Caroline. Let me just finish up here. Folks, okay. it's been a real pleasure. Real pleasure talking to Caroline here. Thanks indeed for joining us for this week's Coffee with Colin. And please consider what's been shared here today and apply it into your thinking for this next week. And then very importantly, come back next week and we share another coffee together and, and ruminate in some other aspect of life and business. But between now and then, get some great coffee for sure. Get some fresh air, get some or and or. If you can, get down to Kill the Farmer's Market and meet Caroline okay. as well. And, uh, and then when the time is right, and only when the time is right, get your head back in the game, get organized for the week ahead, get stuck in, make next week count, and we'll see you here this time next week for another coffee with Colin. Let's watch it. Bye, Colin. I really love great coffee. Thanks to you for that. Caroline, Thank real you. pleasure. Mind yourself. Thanks, Colin. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye.